Hey guys, it's Pastor Scott and we're out here at the Grace Primary School with the first sign of the day. Philip and Luis are going to go uh, put the yellow sign up, but let's check out what's going on here. We got our first Ten Commandments sign up of the day. Let me just show you what's going on. We're here in Belize and the mission is to put up God's word publicly on every business, every house, every car, anything we can get uh a person to say yes for. We will put up the Ten Commandments or Jesus or whatever banner we have. We have a whole bunch of them. But this is a Grace Primary School, and this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, sign for this. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. That is perfect for the school here. And then we're encouraging the leadership and the children, especially the kids and prisoners in jail to learn the Ten Commandments so that they know uh, what sin is and what not to do and that the grace of God will lead them to Jesus. So we just got our first one up here. Let me just back up. Amen. Bubba, come here. Diana. All right, we're going to put a sign up and I'm going to have Diana film. And it looks like Lewis got the green ones ready to go. Let's see if, here, Diana, I'm going to go help them. Just put this on. We have a ram set nail gun here that should work pretty good. So let's see how it works. Let me show the guys how to do this. Diana's going to hold the camera. set nail gun and we bam it goes right in there amen so over there on the wall we're able to get it in really good so we're putting this one on one side believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved and on the other side we're going to put another one Jesus said I am the way the truth and life so when people are driving down the road they're going to see God's word and then along the <coughs> way and the day here we minister as we do this. We pass out tracts. We pray for people. We lay hands on the sick. People come to Jesus. Amen. All right. So Philip said that this gentleman, will you have a verse memorized? Amen. What's your name, brother? Samson. Amen. Many man of God. Amen. So that's what we're doing out here. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what's going on. Looks like Lewis is getting some signs. Hold on, just trying to wave at a couple of you guys. So here comes Lewis. So we flew about 600 pounds of God's word over here in magnetic form. It already did, that's back all the way. That is all the way back. And so we flew over 700 pounds of God's word in the form of this Cora Pass, in the form of vinyl banners, magnet stickers, and tracks. And we're going about each day, putting up God's word publicly wherever someone says yes. We do get permission first. We don't just blindly put them up. We want them to stay. And we want to have the blessing of the area and not get in trouble for doing this. So we thank you for your favor, Lord, and that these people said yes. Amen. And that's how we do it. So when people will be driving by, they're going to see it. Amen. I can't really show you too well because of the angle here, but that's what we're doing. Prepare to meet that God and on the other side. So this is Pastor Scott. 
Diana and the team checking out here on the side of the road at Grace Primary School. And we're just putting up God's word. Keep us in prayer because uh, we're in the city of Belize and the nation of Belize. And this is uh, in the world third uh, most murderous nation per capita. So please pray for us. But we're praying that the Lord's going to change because of their willingness of their heart to put up God's word. We thank you and we praise you. And if you guys need anything at all, give us a call at one 70 jesus We'd be happy to pray for you. Amen. Let me just give you a nice little little view of what's going on here. And then I'll go nab a picture for documentation purposes. Keep us in prayer. And if you ever want to go on us with one of these trips, all you got to do is contact John Peters or myself and uh, put up a GoFundMe. Or if you have the cash readily available, uh, we'll uh, help. We'll buy your ticket and put you up here in one of the rooms with the team. And we'll go about. It's usually a 10-day trip that we do this. So God bless you guys. Keep, keep in touch and pray. All